Ah, well, hello, hello. How's everyone doing this evening? All right. Well, here I am. I'm just going to crank out a little bit of a quick stream of some Genshin Impact. Uh, I was having a conversation on here earlier with a lovely VTuber from the Philippines uh, named Tamara, who was asking me some questions about uh, mining in Genshin Impact. And, you know, I always like to help out whenever I can. So I thought I would uh, put together uh, a little clip here uh, for this evening. Again, for the time being in this week and a little bit in next week, I'm on limited time. So I'm going to be trying to get as much streaming in as I can. Uh, although this weekend will be a plethora of streaming because I will be doing Diablo 4 open beta all weekend. So uh, join me for that. But uh, okay, so mining in in Genshin. Uh, I'm gonna split this up into a into like probably a two part series. And uh, for this evening stream, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, do uh, Monstat and Liyue, and I'm gonna hit those first uh, with some fun little tips and tricks about uh, going out and doing mining. Uh, so if you're new to the game or you've been playing it for a while and maybe you don't know this. Uh, I've been playing this game since the very beginning, and this is just stuff I've picked up, and I'm more than happy to share any and all of this information. So if you have already Genshin questions, uh, if I can help you out, I'm more than happy to. So please uh, always remember that, and you can come back and say hi at any time and uh, get, get hopefully some uh, information that you're looking for. Now... First off, with mining, one thing to remember, you can mark places off on your map, all right? And those will have a tendency to respawn a little bit day after day. It usually takes two to three days for most areas to fully respawn. There are some that, res they, you know, they will respawn daily, but they may not have, like, the mass quantities of stuff that you're looking for. Um so, you know what? Let's just jump right into the uh, the game and I can show you some places. I think that's a little bit better. So, I'm going to jump on in there. Okay. And, like, one place that's my favorite that I, uh, I was showing off a little earlier. I don't know if anyone saw the earlier stream, but I went here. Um, this area right here. Now, it's going to be mined out because I was here uh, six, seven hours ago. But all down here directly in front of me where I'm looking... This is a really good crystal spawn point, as well as across this little valley over into this area. Okay, so crystals, a lot of crystals spawn here, and it's a, it's a pretty good spot. All right, so this is one area I hit uh, very often, and then another one in Liyue I hit uh, fairly regularly too. Uh, let me see here. Where is it I'm looking for? Is it? Oh, no, I'm thinking of a place in uh, in Mondstadt. But anyway, that's, you know, I'm sure a lot of people have already marked off places. Like, you can see here, you know, I have this marked off. That's got four to five core lapis, crystals. Um, up in here, there's a whole cave full of white iron um, right here. Oh, this. Okay, so this is a good thing to do. Let me, let me show you all these guys. And since I want to be... Uh, a little more regular. I shall start off in Mondstadt. Okay, so everyone knows that you can you can run up here, all right. And in any of the in any of the uh, cities, you can go talk to the blacksmith. And I I hope you all know this. But again, some people may be new to the game, and I'm you know trying to help out anybody I can. Okay, and I think it's after you reach AR-20, you can start talking to them and uh, ask them about any, you know, finding uh, ore in Mondstadt. Okay, and most people know this. Um, and this will usually help you find some of the magical crystal ore and he'll, uh, you know, he'll mark it off on your map. Okay, and then, ta oh, look at that. So one, two, he marked off three locations. Now, since we asked him and he's marked these off, these are going to be uh, rich ore reserves, which means that they are they are fully spawned. 
and they should have everything you're looking for in them. Most likely a couple of the uh, the blue magic crystals that you actually have to spend resin to uh, to to convert into uh, upgrade gems. Um, but they will also have crystals. And for the most part, if you're like me and I think a lot of players, um, you're looking for the, the crystals. Uh, the crystal ores are, you know, you can make the same thing as you can for the blue ones, but you don't spend resin, um, which is very important. But if you like to collect it, uh, I usually get those blue magic crystals, and uh, that's one of the things for fodder that I put into my uh, parametric transformer just to, uh, y you know, get rid of them and use them for something useful. Okay, so everyone knows about that, right? You can talk to the blacksmith, be like, Yay, buddy, what's happening? You, you know where I can find some of that tasty ore? I, re I really want some of that tasty ore. Do you know where I find that tasty ore? Oh, yeah, mark that on my map, baby. Yeah, mark it on my map. So you can do that. But a lot of people don't know this. And just give me one second. There's something very important I have to do. We're way behind schedule. Oh, you flew away. Next on the agenda. Can't believe him. Sorry, I, I can't walk by here and and not kill Timmy's pigeons. A little bit of Genshin lore for you, if you were not aware of this. Uh, Timmy is in fact the final Genshin boss. Um, and he gets so pissed off at you after killing all of his pigeons like a billion times uh, that you have to fight him at the end of the game. Or at least that's what I, I personally like to think. Um, just because, uh, you know, why not? Wouldn't that, uh, It would just be awesome. It would just be awesome to have, like, you know, final battle. You killed my pigeons! <laughs> Uh, anyway, so back to... Sorry, I'm going off on tangents and everything. Okay, so anyway, Blacksmith marked off three places on the map, okay? All throughout the maps and locations, though, there are some other NPCs who will also mark off locations for you, okay? There are, I'm trying to remember, two or three... I think there's three in Mondstadt and three three in Liyue, which is the two we're going to be covering for now. Um, but let me show you where those guys are, because while the the blacksmith will normally mark off two, usually three spaces, um, the other people will mark off other spaces for you. And again, if they are marked off, they are guaranteed to be full. And the great thing with this is that any place that these guys mark off will respawn in 24 hours so there is a reset for these so while i could go around and show you all of these little places to go mine in case you're running low this is a much better method because you can get six rich ore deposits in monstat six rich ore deposits in liyue and mine them and then when you go back the next day on the server reset uh, actually let me let me clarify Two hours after the server reset is when the ore, uh, ore responds, okay? At least according to everything that I've seen from other people saying things. Um, so those will respawn at, at different rates. But for these, like, rich ore deposits, you can get these every day. So let me show you where the other characters are that you can go talk to, okay? So... There we go. Cecilia, where is he? Okay, right here, right near Thousand Winds Temple, there is a fellow named Doolin. All right, so uh, let's try teleporting right over to the Midsummer's Courtyard. Okay, and we want to head... Uh, I think he's actually up higher, so I probably need to go around this way. Dun, 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 dun. Can I climb that? Oh, no, wait, I have... I have this guy. And all along the ways, there's going to be ores, depending on what you're looking for. I'm primarily doing a, uh, you know, kind of a run to get, uh, to get uh, crystals as opposed to, uh, you know, as opposed to anything else. I, I have a ton of white iron and regular iron. Um, so I want to run up here and let's find, where are you, Doolin? Doolin. Now, Doolin has... Uh, oh, hey, oh, need that. Sorry. Always collect those. 
Uh, Doolin has a little camp up here, okay? And he does, he moves. So, like, uh, during the daytime, he might not be at this camp. At night, he will be at this camp. Hey, some nice meat. Thank you for the meat, Doolin. And then, is, here he is. Okay, so this is where he is during the day. At night, almost same location, but he'll be over here sitting by a fire cooking some food. All right, and uh, so you can talk to him. All right, and he'll pop up. Oh, is there anything of note nearby? Oh, uh, yes, I've encountered some ores nearby. I believe they're called magical crystal ores. Yeah, or we can give him a cool voice like, I've heard that these crystal ores are formed under the influence of ley line energies. They are very hard to come by, and very few smiths know how to work them. You can go have a look if you're interested. I think their locations were dot dot dot. There, I've marked them on your map. I mean, no taking is a skill every adventurer must have, no? Well, thank you, Doolin. And he'll pop it up on the map, and you see, now I have another rich ore reserve. Relatively close by, so uh, we can go ahead... Uh, let's go ahead and head down that way and check it out. <laughs> yes, come on, Zhang Li. Tell me how Osmanthus wine tastes. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Let me get some uh, stamina back up here so I don't die jumping off the cliff. Whee! And that should be right there at the bottom. All right. Woo! Okay, so you can see here, a whole bunch of stuff. Now, if I did not talk to that guy, would this have been here? Maybe. It is a spot where ores will spawn, so you can also mark this right off on your map. It's right off the edge of the cliff here, right by uh, Thousand Winds Temple. You can see, and zoom in on it. Whee! So this little cliff thing right here, that is a place where they will respawn, but you can force a respawn every 24 hours. Two hours after server reset, you can go, you know, you can talk to Doolin and he'll point out a location. It, he won't always give you this spot. He, he may give you another spot, which is up in here or another spot that's off this cliff. Um, if, if the blacksmith in Mondstadt has already labeled spots which happen to be over here uh, Doolin will give you one location that can show up as a rich ore reserve so if the blacksmith gave me you know uh, other places than this Doolin will give me one of these okay and this is just a way to force respawn to make sure you can get crystals and uh, even the blue magic ones if you're looking for them all right so we have Doolin there, and then in Mondstadt, let me find out uh, where is the other guy. I believe he is up here. Yeah, Davy. Davy off Bright Crown Canyon. So head up to the Bright Crown Mountains teleport waypoint. Okay, and uh, I gotta kill this guy. And probably this guy. What? No presents? Ah, uh, he's, he's got presents. There we go. Thank you, thank you. Okay, and you can just kind of follow this up a bit. And basically what you want to do is just head down this way. And we just need to find him. He's gener- there he is, right on the edge of the cliff. There's Davy. Hello, Davy. Davy the Bard. Hi, Davy. He's usually out here. He stays here uh, almost all the time, so there's no time limit for him. So anytime you end up playing, uh, feel free to come by and speak with Davey. Is there anything of note nearby? Hmm, nothing especially. Oh, no. Okay, so he doesn't have anything. All right, now, usually he will have, like, they won't give you something. So if the, if the uh, I don't know if you've tried this, if you go... Hey, Trix, how's it going? Um, if you head into, uh, like, Mondstadt and ask the the, uh, the blacksmith for a location, sometimes he'll only give you two. If he only gives you two, all three of the people in Mondstadt that I'm showing you will give you one. Ah, oh, thank you very much. 
Thank you, Trix. I'm a, I'm a demon. I'm a demon, an anime demon lord who's really a computer generated AI program. But still, thank you. I appreciate it. Tris. Oh, okay. I saw the T R I X S V and I was like, ah, so Tris. Thank you very much for correcting me. I'd like to uh, at least be able to say your name properly when you're coming in to say hi and have a chat. So, hey, I'm uh, going through and just uh, showing some stuff about how to uh, do some uh, mining tricks to uh, maximize the amount of mining stuff you can pick up in Genshin. And there's a lot of this stuff that uh, some people don't seem to know. Do you, do you play Genshin, Triss? Because if you do, this may come in handy. Because some of these little tricks, some people don't know. Oh, you just found me. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for joining me in and everything. Let me know if you have any questions or anything I can, uh, you know, give you a hand with. I've been playing this game for a long time, and I know a lot of cool stuff. So if there's anything I can help you with. Oh, AR-47. Hey, AR-47 is pretty good. AR-47 is 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 not bad. That The game's a lot of fun around that point. Um, and so you, you, there's still lots and lots of stuff you can do, but if you ever run into any blocks or anything, and if there's anything I can help you with, because I got, here, I'll show you. I am up to, uh, yay, I'm AR-60 and stuff, and, uh, I can, I can help you out. Oh, damage still bad. Ah, uh, yeah, damage can be tough, because a lot of that depends on not only, not only your level, but it also depends on, you know, uh, what weapons you're using, what do you, what upgrades you have on those weapons, what artifacts you have. And uh, it's also good to build specific to your characters. Um, who do you who do you run most of the time? Like, who's who do you main? Oh, oh, Tris, don't get me started on on artifacts. Um, I have the worst luck with artifacts. Um, oh, you have Yoimiya. Uh, okay, so that is somebody I do not have that I have I have rolled and pulled for Yoimiya every time she's been released because I really want her to, you know, I want to have her character in my party and I don't have her every single time I have I have pulled for her. I have either pulled Jean or Chi Chi, of course, or maybe maybe Kaching um, stuff. Yeah, here I'll give you a quick rundown. You can see some of my uh, some of my characters. Yeah, I'll give you the whole the whole bucket list here. I got Yoimiya in no polls because I never pulled her. Okay, so but I do have I do have a, a I'm not complaining. I do have a lot of five star characters, and I have every four star character except for i believe her name is uh layla who is uh i believe she is a water um a hydro uh hydro sword i think i think she's like the the budget nilu um i don't know i i played her yeah i i never got her and of course, I don't have I don't have Mika yet because uh, he just came out today, um, and I was I was very sad because I kept looking, like here. Let me sh I'll come back to characters in one second. You have Mika. Oh, congratulations! Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure I have really good luck with four star characters, and I was hoping that I would I would get him too. Ooh, I got a re reward coupon. Oh, if you have Amazon Prime, um. Then everyone, uh, Amazon Prime just dropped uh, number six for their rewards today, and you can pick that up. And it's twenty thousand one, uh, one fragile resin and eight ores. So be sure to claim that. You have like a month, I think, but so no rush. But did drop today. Okay, sorry, I was just like, oh, I forgot I got a code today. Yay! Um. Hold on a second. Let me get back into uh, character. Oh, wait. No, I know what I was going to show you. Hold on a second. I need to get into the wish banner. Okay. See? See this picture right here? Here you have Mika. And what's he holding? Oh, it's a book. And I'm like, oh, 
it's a catalyst. We finally are getting a cryo catalyst. No, it's just part of his character design. It's it's a it's a book of maps because he's a cartographer. I found out, and he's actually a pole arm. And I was so sad because we still do not have a cryo catalyst in this game. And I really want a cryo catalyst. You you're disappointed. Yeah yeah I can I believe you know. I think Cryo Catalyst is one of those things that we were actually really looking forward to, you know, as a player base. And uh, it's not, you know, no, nothing for us. Oh, well, okay. I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll survive. But, oh, you pulled for Ayaka and you got Chi Chi. Oh, uh, well, next, your next one will be... Um, your next one will be guaranteed whatever five star you're going on so that's cool um, right now I'm I'm not really saving I'm, I'm trying to I don't know who is coming next after this banner um, because currently oh, hold on a second let me get back into my characters so um, I, I have I have Shen already and I have a Yaka um, I may pull for Ayaka to get her another duty, constellation, um, just because, you know, that, uh, I think she would be good. Al although, but then, like, I don't know, Shen he may be good with more. Um, oh, one thing too. So if, if you, if you look at my, uh, if you look at my characters, let me get back into the, uh, character screen, okay? So I have a lot of five-star characters. Oh yeah, Baiju. Yeah, he sounds. Uh, I I really want him just because he has a pet snake. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he's gonna be Dendro, but he does have a pet snake. So I'm 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 like okay, yeah, he's cool. I want to get him. I get a lot of characters because of the uh the way they look as opposed to what they can do, you know. Um, but yeah, check this out. Like most of my characters are C zero. Ganyu, I, I usually main Ganyu, um, C0, uh, you know, Kokomi, also C0, Wanderer, uh, 0, Albedo, 0, Kazuha, I actually have a C1, yes, Ganyu, uh, Ganyu, I, I, Ganyu is my Coco Goat, I love Ganyu, uh, I, I play her all the time, I'll show you my Ganyu if you want to see, so you can check it out. Uh, oh, you got ah oh, Kazuha is awesome as well. I do I do have Kazuha as a, a C one, um, which was because on his rerun, I uh, I just went like I was like oh I'll just I'll wish on Kazuha and I got him like in seven pulls. Um, I I got him to C one. I already had him, but I was like oh I'll just roll on Kazuha, um, and on that within within like I think it was eleven pulls because it was a banner that had. Klee and Kazuha, if I remember correctly. I think it was last year for the, uh, was it the, or maybe the year before. Oh, no. I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember now, but, uh, they were both available, and I roll, I pulled both of them, and, oh, you got Raiden in one pull? Oh, my God, that's awesome. That is awesome. I think the earliest pull I ever got is, uh, I pulled Kazuha in seven. It was like it was like seven pulls, and uh, I got him, and I was like, "Whoa, well, oh my god, how did I do that?" Um, but yeah, Kazuha is probably one of my uh, most favorite. Um, yeah, he's one of my most favorite animo uh, animo characters. Um, I like him. I have Shao too, I, but I like I like Kazuha better. Um, I have Venti too, um, but also Venti C zero. I do have a C4 Gene because uh, I pull Gene like most people pull Chi Chi. Um, Shen He, C0, Eula, 0, Chi Chi, only C2, which is surprising considering it's Chi Chi. Ayaka, 0, uh, Ye Miko, 0, Raiden Shogun, 0, Kaching, I have C4 because I pull Kaching a lot. Uh, Alhytham, zero. Kainari, zero. Check out my C6 Traveler. But, I mean, that's kind of comes with the game. Uh, Mona, 
the only other character, let me see. I have, I do have our uh, Childy or Tartalia. I do have him at uh, C1. Deya just got on the last banner, so she she doesn't even have good artifacts at this point. Um, still, this is one. Hu Tao, I do want. Um, I do want to bump her up. Mona, yes, I I have Mona. Um, believe it or not, like um, out of all these characters that I have, some of the most recent ones that I got are actually Mona and uh, and D Luke. Um, my highest crit. Let me see. That's probably gonna be probably Ganyu, I think. Crit rate fifty eight. Crit damage two fifty six point six. I have on her, so uh, my my Ganyu does a lot of damage. I usually uh, her charged attack. Yes, the Coco Goat. Her charged attack does uh, two fifty six. Um, so yeah, yeah. But yeah. Hey, let me do one more thing here because uh, I gotta. There's one more character I want to show here for this. I'm gonna go do that real quick. Okay. Um, I just gotta remember where he is. I just want to make sure I'm not getting too off topic because I tend to do a lot of little tangents. Ah, yes, Springvale. This is back to uh, mining, and then I'll jump back in to uh, show you some stuff. So. Okay, everyone, sorry about that little little tangent, but having a nice conversation with Triss here. And uh, I'll be back to you, Triss. We'll, hold on a second if you can just bear with me. Okay. Um, up here, if you go up to this house during certain times of the day. Okay. Oh, where is he? No, he's probably up by the lighthouse or something. You're looking for draft. That's Maywise. I don't think she tells you anything. Love turns you into an unthinking vegetable. That's a classic song. Ah, okay. I will be right back with you then. Um, all right. Well, you know what? We can take a pause on this. I can always make a video later. Oh, no. Can't hear me. Okay. We'll give you a sec. See if you can, uh, see if you can come back in. But I can show you some uh, stuff on, on Ganyu if you wanted to see that. Can you hear me now? Hello? Okay. Ah, there's Draft. Do not go hunting in game. Anything of note? Hey, check it out. Draft found some ores. So, hey, Tris, let me know if you can if you can still hear me or because I think everything's coming through on on my end. I got all my levels looking good and everything. So, if you can't hear me, that's okay. Ah, oh, good. You can hear me. Excellent, excellent. Okay, so I just wanted to show draft here, so uh, I could. Because he'll uh, he'll spot out some crystal ores and also the blue magical ores as well. Um, important thing to remember, Draft, he will only show you ores from, I believe it's like 6 in the morning till 7 p.m. So, or 6 to 19, depending on how you like to do your time. 6 to 19, he'll show you where ores are, usually only one. But that's all the ones for Monstat. Ah, what do you do with the blue crystal ores? Okay, so all all the ores can be refined. Okay, so the big blue crystal ores, if you take them to a blacksmith, doesn't matter what town. Okay, but the only thing with the blue crystal ores is that to process them actually costs you 10 resin um so i don't know a lot of people you know don't want to do that but like you can see here okay mystic i gotta use three mystic crystals here 
and 10 resin to get six mystic enchantment ores, you know? Or you can do like, oh, I can do five of these, okay? And I can actually get, uh, let me check the forging queue, okay? Is you'll get five crystals. So you get one crystal more, but you have to spend 10 resin. The only thing that's nice about that here, I don't mind, I have 160 resin here, so I'll do one, okay? Is uh, the only thing that's nice about it is when you do these, uh, it's ready instantly. It's like, ta-da, done. Oh yeah, I got them. So if you're really like, oh no, I'm six crystals away from being able to upgrade my sword. So, oh, you just, okay. So yeah, so uh, Tris, that's that's what I was talking about. Okay, so like, if you, if you talk to uh, the blacksmith, okay, and you can do this every day, um, he'll tell you, are there any tips for finding ore? Okay, and um, he'll tell you and mark on your map where you can find uh, ore. Okay, so it'll pop open on your map. Hey, who's this coming to join? Hi, Cake. Uh, maybe, maybe in a little bit, Cake. I'm in the middle of a stream. Um, but... Um, yeah, yeah, no problem. Wait, are you cake? <laughs> um, but here's the, okay, so he'll tell you where those ores are, but if you go check these, these spots, they won't just have the, uh, you know, those blue magic ones, okay? They will have, uh, the regular crystals, and they will also sometimes be near other ore. So you can just be like, I like to use Zhongli because he just is the mining master. So you can pick up the magical ones, but this is what most people are looking for is the crystal chunks because it doesn't cost you resin. Okay. Oh, your name on Genshin is Triss. Oh, well, hey, Triss, what server do you play on? I'm on, I'm on, uh, I'm on a America server. Um... I get a lot of viewers who uh, who like play on uh, Asia servers. I'm, I probably should make an account over there at some point. Oh, since I'm right here too, this is fun. Ah, uh, oh, you play on Asia too. Ah, cool, cool. Yeah, I really should make an account over there. Um, this is something cool too. You know these little guys in Mondstadt when they're floating around, okay? If you, you know how if you pick up three of these, they will create a wind tunnel that you can you know, glide up on. Okay, if you hit them with Animo, come on, not getting them. Oh, did they remove that in this version? Oh, that sucks. Used to be able to hit them with, uh, oh, maybe it's just, maybe it's because I'm using uh, Wanderer. I wonder if maybe he's just not doing it. Hold on a second. Let me throw on... Sucrose, who's only level My 73, because I haven't really used her much. Oh, won't do it either. Wow, you used to be able to shoot those, and they would uh, create the uh, the wind tunnel for you. Oh, uh, anyway, no problem. I guess that maybe is in a different version now, but oh well. Okay, well, hey, let me get someplace where I'm not going to get attacked, so I'll just zip back into town, and then I can show you some Ganyu stuff, and then uh, I'll get back into uh, doing some more uh, some more mining things. And, okay. So, we Alright, so let me finish off here with you, because I know you were interested in checking out some... Here, I'll show you everything I'm running on Ganyu. So I have Ganyu up to 90. Uh, again, only only have her at at C0 but I do have her I got a crown on her main attack so level 10 and uh, I have level 10 on that this uh, I'm thinking I may uh, may level this up to 10 yeah yeah oh no no hey no worries if you gotta go I just want to show you the weapon real quick before you go so I have uh, I have the uh, aqua simulacra on her which does 88.2% crit damage. So yeah, my Ganyu is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, but hey, yeah, come on in. Join me in any time I'm on. I usually stream too, which is about uh, like uh, noontime, New York time. Uh, I'm usually on. Uh, well, no, I still want to better my Ganyu. 
So I want to try getting an Amos bow or something for her too. And I need better artifacts, of course. But yeah, I got, I spent a lot of time building Ganyu because, because I like her. So, but yeah, definitely pretty cool. Hey, I'm usually on, um, you know, it'll be, uh, noontime, uh, New York time. I'd usually do a quick hour lunchtime stream. I'm in East coast U.S. Uh, so if that fits with your time, always jump on. Otherwise, I'm usually on around this time, uh, 22, 10 p.m. And so you can jump on. I know a lot of people in uh, in Asia. So like if you're if you're over, I have a lot of viewers from like uh, uh, Philippines and stuff who kind of jump into the streams and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I try to do something earlier in the day, my time and later at night. So that way I can kind of you know be available for everybody so but awesome hey tris thanks for coming in really appreciate you stopping in stop in anytime and stuff and uh if you ever do any other kind of gaming and stuff maybe if we're actually on the same server i'd love to game uh, i'd love to get together with people and just play and have fun i'm pretty chill not very competitive so let me know all right, and if you got to go, you got to go. So no worries. Have a great uh, day, night, depending on where you are. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get back into uh, heading around for part two now of our mining, mining fun. Okay. Um, oh, thank you very much, Tris. I appreciate that. Hey, it was great having you in the in the chat and nice talking with you and stuff really enjoyed it so you know anytime please come back by say hi i'm always on and i'll remember you uh send me a link too if you, if, if you stream and everything too um i know you play because you were talking about it but if you do any streaming send me a link i'll follow you back and uh be able to tell when you're on i'll come check out your show all right so you you have a good rest of your day evening or wherever whatever it might be and we'll see you then. Oh, you don't stream? Ah, no, no problem. Well, feel free to join in and chat anytime you want. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm on all the time. Sometimes I don't even have any viewers and I'm just streaming and talking to myself. So you're more than welcome to come on and say hello. And I'll still game with you too. I don't need to stream. I just like to play games. <laughs> All right, so for anyone just joining into the show and seeing what's going on, I was uh, having a conversation earlier talking about uh, cool tips agenda. for mining, maybe for some people who uh, have been playing the game and are looking to just maximize the amount of stuff they can mine, or also, you know, to help out some people who are new that want to be able to pick up some stuff for mining. Um, so anyway, I have been going off here and as you can see this is a nice little spot here this is Stay this one usually has crystals at it every day i just want to show you these because it's a pretty quick run um on the other side of this i can I'll just show you on the map okay these two islands right here are usually loaded pretty well with uh the the light blue crystals so the crystal ore um, so these are great places to come out and, and mine. This little island back here does require crossing the water. I'll just jump over here and stuff and we'll go, Oop. hey, get back here. You get over here. Thank you. Um, we'll head over to those little islands and stuff and see what we can find there. Uh, because these are usually pretty rich, uh, with ore. Um, now again, most ore is gonna respawn. Crab. Uh, most ore is gonna respawn uh, two to three days naturally. So the key thing is, ooh, crab. Thank you. Um, the thing is, is like if you go hit these places, like this one, this one isn't even fully respawned. Solidified. And I haven't picked this up in a little bit. Yeah, usually there's a lot more over here. Okay. Um, break that, thank you. Okay, and uh, now nah, let's go ahead and swim across this. So, this, this area over here, this is another little island that has a lot of uh, has a lot of uh, crystals too. Um, 
I'm not gonna bore you with running around and just grabbing it. I'm just trying to show you the areas and stuff. So this always has crystals all over the place on this little <coughs> island. This usually has more as well, but it's it's pretty full of crystals, okay? Now, another thing, doesn't matter which area you're in, an important thing to keep an eye out for is to see where the ley line deposits are, okay? So, for example, this region around Windrise, Starfall Lake, Thousand Winds Temple, this is where the ley lines are. That means in this area, any, any crystal deposits that you normally track and find are going to be full and overloaded with crystals, okay? So every day when this resets and the ley line deposit, maybe they'll show up over here, this entire area will have 100% full crystals and they will be uh, at the max level that they can have. So always, if you're really looking to do mining, look at where the ley line deposits are and go mine the areas close to those. Okay, so that's always a good, a good spot. And also, if you go around to these places that, like, if you mark them off where are good crystal uh, places, um, go ahead and, you know, you mine these out. And then once those places are mined out, if you go talk to the blacksmith and there's not another space, like if you've mined out everything, they'll replenish that. But besides that, I do want to show you more of the people. Um, so, for example, like, you know, if you go talk to the blacksmith in Liyue, he'll give you two, three, sometimes four places that have, uh, crystals. Okay, so if we go hit him there. I just am curious to see where he's going to mark off on the map here. Jump, jump. Jim. Fly. Oh, no. Wow, he didn't even fly. I thought I was hitting the button, but I was out of health. Ooh, that would have been funny if I drowned in the little stream in Liyue. Okay, Master Zhang, he will tell me. Okay, uh, about Liyue's mining products. Okay, so he'll just, he'll give you that, and he'll give you, like, this little spiel. And then he'll mark them on your map. And you can see there he has given me... Oh, he gave me quite a few. So he gave me one up here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now all five of these locations will have the blue crystals. But again, that's not really what... That's not what I'm looking for. What I wanted to show you is more importantly... So you're at five places now. If we look on the map that we can go uh, mine stuff, which are all up around... around uh, uh, Chingyon Peak, okay, but here's something cool. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to jump on the map and I'm going to head right over here to the Golden House. And I've already fought uh, the Tartalia Chaldi battle, you know, um, so I can't really do that. Otherwise, I would go do that You can check one of my previous streams if you want to watch me. Uh, shoot him in the head with Ganyu three times and he dies just pretty fun sometimes but um, yeah so check this out I'm just heading up around where the new palace is and I'm gonna come around here okay and here we go iron shoulder all right this is one of the guys I want to talk to so I'm gonna talk to him oh is there anything of note nearby Okay, nothing he's noticed. Okay, now, this depends. It's kind of, You have like a two out of three chance is when you talk to him. Um, he may tell you, oh yeah, I know where some ores are. Um, so it's worth checking out for him. Um, usually what I will do is I will talk to the blacksmith, mine all of those ores, then go talk to him. It seems to increase the likelihood of him going... Oh yeah, I know where there's some ores. Go mine these. Um, so he can give you ore locations. So he's a good guy to, to talk to. Okay. His name's Iron Iron Shoulder. And he's kind of right almost underneath where the uh, new Jade Palace is. And let me tell you. Let me see where else was there. That's a cave. 
Ah, yep, yeah, right here. Shizhuang the Strong. Um, for him, I've been going here. Okay. And if you, I mean, if you're just looking for specific ore, always, you know, in, in the chasm is great, and the underground chasm is great, and also the Wenet tunnels in, uh, in Sumeru in the new area, that place is full of ore. Um, so always good. If you're looking for basic ore, like white iron and black and regular iron, uh, the, you know, the black iron, uh, outcroppings, um, this place, hey... I was here a little earlier. Uh, this place is just full of regular ores and stuff. Um, but here you go. Shudrong the Strong. You can talk to him. And he will give you uh, nothing much. Okay, so he doesn't have anything. Probably because I got a ton of stuff. But if you're really in the mood for looking for ore, talk to uh, him. Right here, Shudrong the Strong, and Iron Shoulder that we just saw, and I believe there is, wait, is there another one? Uh, where is he? I'm trying to remember, I have it marked off on my map somewhere. That's the Iron Cave, is he up here? Oh, where is he? No, I don't think he's down there. Huh, I'm kind of forgetting where he is. I want to say he's near... No, no. No. Ah, who is that? And what is his name now? I'm totally forgetting. Ah, I should have gotten way better prepared for this before I, before I did this. But, um... Let's buy the grass, artifacts. I'm trying to remember where else I marked off. Ah, right, there he is. Okay, he's actually near one of the things. That's why I couldn't find him, because he was hiding. Panguar. Guanar. Guarar. Guarar. Depends on if you're... If you have a Beijing accent or not. Most of China would say... Panguanar. And then Beijing accent is... Panguarar. Guarar. Ar. Is in Beijing, they throw an R at the end of everything. But Han Guan, I think that's what his name is. He's usually, uh, no, he is down below this cliff. Uh, hold on a second. Where is he? Oh, might as well mine all this. This is also a good spot, as you can see. Boom. And that is not the spot that was labeled off, if uh, because on your mini map, or even on your regular map, you see how it still shows that rich ore reserve. I'm d directly to the right of it, so that I did. What if you get all of these ores, this icon will go away. All right, let's go talk to Panguanar. Panguanar. Or Panguarar. Guar, guar. I can't do the Beijing accent. I'm sorry. It's just, uh, I, I just can't do it. Anything of note nearby? You've come to the right man. My ancestors are in the mining business. As such, I can turn the quality of lore, but with what look? That's why they call me Pan Guanara. Oh, okay. There we go. He's going to give me some uh, crystal ores. Come on. I discovered magical crystal ores nearby. True treasures. No mistake. Nice. Okay, so where is he giving me? Oh, so look at that. He's throwing more right on top of this. Okay, so these are just extra NPC characters. Remember, there's three in Mondstadt, okay, that you can check. I'll just give a quick sum up again for Mondstadt. Okay, so up here. Okay, uh, not there, not there. Oh, it's down here further. I'm sorry. Um, where are they? I have them labeled. Okay, Valberries. No, it's not that. Wait, wait. I do have them labeled. Okay. Um, oh, I'm looking at the wrong place. Okay, Bright Crown Canyon right here. There's a bard named Davy. Go talk to him. He will usually give you uh, a place to go and do some mining. 
Okay, and then uh, I, these are just places I have labeled off for decent mining. Okay, and then in uh, Springvale, talk to Draff. He's the hunter with the uh, mustache and the fox ears, or the kitty ears. I believe he's D uh, Diona's father. Um, but talk to him, and if he knows where any uh, ore outcroppings are, he will let you know, and then you can go get stuff from him, too. And then right here, right to the left of Thousand Winds Temple, uh, Doolin, he's one of the uh, people, like, excavating... Uh, right around there uh, he'll usually give you some stuff he'll either be at a campfire or on the wall right around Thousand Winds Temple go talk to him he'll tell you where magic ore are if if he is um, as you can see like for example I only had the blacksmith and uh, Pan uh, Guanar down here tell me where things are but they lifted off one two three four five uh, six spots uh, just right off there so you know definitely pretty cool uh i can go mine that stuff and get a bunch of uh crystals so definitely uh feel free you know use those tips and everything um and just to double up so again right over here just north of uh june karst is uh pan guanar um okay so definitely you know definitely talk to him he'll tell you some stuff all right, down here, just underneath the Jade Chamber, okay, Iron Shoulder. I put Iron Shoulder Mining because uh, he'll tell you where some stuff is, okay? So go pay him a visit, and he'll let you know, like, oh, yeah, I know where some stuff is, okay? And then the other guy is going to be right down here, just kind of southwest of Lingju Pass, okay, and north of uh, Qingshu Pool. Uh, Shizhuang the Strong uh, go talk to him and he will also uh, give you uh, things uh, let you know where a location is of the rich ore deposits so those are some of the best ways about how I go through and collect ore um, because you know why go hunting for it when people tell you exactly where it is and you can mark it on the map okay so you know, so for here, like for example, I can just head Where do you want to up go next? and west. If you'd and like oh, to look see at that! Uh, I got a whole bunch spots. of stuff. And because they references. pointed them out on the map and they told me where they are, these areas are going to be full with as much as they can hold. Stabilize. Um, because they won't mark them on the map if they're not like the spots aren't fully charged up. So. Um, this is why it's one of the best ways to do it is to actually uh, go talk to the people you know um, oh one other one other tip I can give you for mining too is I like to put together a mining team so for example like I do most of my mining with John Lee because uh, his elemental skill just destroys rocks um, but usually when I'm putting together a, uh, a whole mining team, I will usually stick uh, two Animo characters. This better be important. Um, I usually, it doesn't matter which two, because Sounds we're not me. actually looking for them to do anything other than give us, um, right here, decreases stamina consumption by 15% and increases movement speed by 10%. Um, because basically we're going to end up running around to a lot of places and you move faster. So you can cover ground and uh, and go through. Um, if you want to get really crazy with it, you know, during the daytime, I believe Daya adds a speed boost, and nighttime, um, uh, Rosaria does. If you have those two characters, um, but and Daya has a claymore, so she's pretty good at breaking stuff up. Um, but whether or not you actually want to uh, to use them or not, hey, thank you. All right, now right here. Oh, there! Yeah, look at all this. Stabilize. There we go. That's why I like to use him for mining, because he just kind of takes everything. Now those blue, the blue magic crystals. Okay, like I said, you do the only thing you can use them for. I keep hitting the wrong button. Um, the only thing you can use them for. All right, is to. Uh, 
you know, you can refine them into uh, the greater crystals. All right. So you can refine them into uh, where are they? Uh, they're in the wrong bookie book. Uh, 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 somewhere. I think they're down in here. Or maybe not. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, you know, for upgrading weapons, you can get crystals out of them. Uh, you do have to spend Every journey has 10, uh, 10 resin to refine them, and then you get six, uh, you know, you get six crystals, which, you know, I, I don't know if that's really worth it for you. Uh, I mean, if you don't have anything to spend your resin on, I, I suppose you could, uh, you know, you could do it. Like, uh, here, let me, uh, ascend. I don't really have anything to do. Refine. Can't do it. Um, it's just for... Do I have anything? Oh, I can level this up. Okay, so enhance. You know. Okay, so like right now I have... Uh, I only have 480 of these because I've been leveling up tons and tons of weapons. Um, but you can convert those blue crystals in one blue... Or two blue crystals or one, two, three blue crystals equals six of these and you have to do three at a time and it costs you 10 resin um or like you can just use the regular crystals and just mine them with uh mora which is what i do i'll show you what what i do with my uh with my crystals is once a week i uh pop this open and then i take my uh my blue crystals and i put them in there and i transmute them into Where something do you want else to go next so that's something fun to do. Um, I don't. I don't really like spending the resin on that. Um, uh, it, it just seems kind of like a waste of resin. Um, boom, 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 crystals. But you, you know, in case you need them, you know, I have had occasions where I've been like, um, oh no, you know, I'm only like ten crystals away from being able to pull this weapon up to ninety and. You know, I know I've, like, mined everything out, and it's just quicker and easier for me to say, I'm going to spend 10 resin and get some, uh, you know, get some stuff done. So, um, yeah, definitely a, definitely a good way to do it. Hey, look, there's some crystals there. Um, yeah, also, one of the really nice things is pretty much anywhere you go mining that shows up on the map, in those general areas, you should be able to Stay find, nice. uh, you'll be able to find more crystals. So this is some stuff that I do. See, see, like I said, you know, they're, they're just kind of all around. You just may have to uh, run around and find some stuff. Um, but yeah, definitely some cool places. I mean, if, if everyone's interested later, I can show you some, uh, I can show you some other places that are pretty good to go where you can get some other crystals. But, uh, those all those people are the you know the main reason I wanted to do the stream and I ended up talking to a bunch of people or, or mostly Triss so again Triss if you're watching after to catch up what you've seen or if you're still on thank you very much for joining in really appreciate it um, but uh, I, I if you haven't noticed we'll go on tangent sometimes and just be like oh wait you know what I want to show you dee -dee 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 -dee. look I can dance Oh my, oh my god, oh my god. Oh. Um, so yeah, I will uh, I will do that quite often. Um, so I lose track and everything. But uh, I did want to show you all that mining stuff because that was uh, pretty fun and entertaining. And if anyone is interested in knowing some more of the mining locations that I like to hit, um, I will show you more of those. I am also going to uh, check and see because I never have looked yet. Wine tastes the same oh, as thank I you for your Asmanthus wine. It doesn't but taste the same as I remember either. The memory. Um, I don't recall yet. I haven't really double checked and everything for everyone in Sumeru to see if there are characters there that you could talk to who will also reveal mining locations. Um, there are some in Imaz Inazuma too, um, which is really good because in Inazuma you get the amethyst Every crystals instead of day. the uh, instead rush. of the uh, crystal ores. Um, so if you're trying to get amethyst, uh, there are a few people you can talk to there too. 
Um, but instead of running around with like a chicken with my head cut off, I am going to uh, double check that and find out exactly where they are and mark them on the map so I can just come back and go, here they are, one, two, three. And let's go to Sumeru, one, two, three. Um, but I know, I know the ones in, uh, you know, in Mondstadt and Liyue very well because I, I still use them, uh, myself because especially Liyue is just a really good place for mining minerals and stuff. And, and again, you can always, um, just run, uh, you know, anything, anything in here, there is a ton of ore all throughout in the chasm and then underground in the chasm which of course you can just teleport to oh no not sumeru uh chasm underground mines this place is just loaded with ore um if you're just looking for numbers you can just run through here and uh get tons and tons of stuff so that's always good um one of my new favorite places running for ore uh, lately has been um, popping off right over here and then just uh, running the uh, when it tunnels that is if it loads um, okay so I normally like to just run right over here Put on some Ganyu, get some mystery meat. Um, there's tons of ore all down here. And this is really easy to get to because there's the, uh, you know, a lot of people teleport to this and jump down the hole. If you, if you, you know, I mean, that's great if you got to fight the, uh, you know, the Wenit King or Seknut Wenit or whatever his name is. Um, but if you turn around and just go the opposite way, it'll send you down this tunnel. And while I'm here, might as well get, get some, uh, they call these sand grease poopas, but uh, I just call them poops. Because they look like, they look like poops. <laughs> and you need to collect a whole bunch of poops. Um, because uh, Deja needs them, and, uh, oh god, who else was it that had the level up for the poops? I believe it was, oh no, it was, it was Wanderer. Stabilize. Was it Wanderer that needed? No, Al Haytham. Al Haytham needed. He needed the the Wenet poop things, and that just wasn't all that much fun. Mister Yumi. Um, so I'm now kind of obsessed with running around and picking up uh, poops. Too slow. Oh, too slow. Here, have some of this. And then here you can have some of this. He's not doing a lot of damage to him because he's all, uh, you know, animal. Try Kazuha. Kazuha does usually a whole bunch of damage. But then you can look at Ganyu who can, like, just hit that. Oh no, look, 50,000 points of damage and just killed him. Because that's why I, I really, really like Ganyu. And, and I know she's a little overpowered, but on the side note, she does not have a lot of hit points, and I, she dies a lot. Um, if I'm not, like, shielding her, or, uh, I run her with, uh, actually, you know what, I should probably just change my party here before I get confused and forget. Um, I normally, I run her with my, uh, my favorite team here is I really like to run her. I throw on a little uh, a little Kokomi, which is pretty cool. I don't even think I have other teams set up, do I? Oh, let me see. Oh, uh, this was one I was running for a while, too. I had, uh, yeah, Child, Ganyu, uh, Xingqiu, and Chi Chi. Actually, pretty decent team if, you know, you don't have to set anything on fire. Do I have any other ones? Oh, yes! My initial tiny terror team, as you can, or you can't see it on the screen because it's a little covered up by me. Ha 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 ha. But this is my tiny terror team. I put together an entire team of nothing but tiny characters who Naruto run. Um, so that you know, just for fun, Klee, Chi Chi, Diona, Sayu, 
Although I may need to, uh, I do not have Nahida and I want her so I can add her to some sort of tiny terror team. Um, but you know, that's just fun because like here, let's, let's deploy the tiny terror team because holy crap, it's just fun because you have Klee and look, they all Naruto run. Whee! Now we'll switch to Chi Chi and she Naruto runs and Diona Naruto. Sayu, Naruto, Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, okay, never mind. Let's go back to my team and get the uh, right team on. Yes, this is what I do in Genshin when I don't have any uh, exciting uh, missions or anything. So anyway, yeah, when it tunnels, uh, this is a pretty good spot. It is chock full of some of my favorite things, like these guys. Tons of crystal fries, not fries. Crystal flies down here. Um, there is a lot of various different ore, everything ranging from crystal uh, to other things. Oh, little side note too. Um, if you do your party setup and you have Hainari... Um, put him in your party uh, because for some reason sand grease pukes is an item that Tainari will detect and you can uh, use him to go pick them up. Um, I mean, if you want to pick up sand grease pukes. Ooh. Hey, Zhang Li, do you mind picking up that puke for me? Oh, thank you, buddy. That poop too. Maybe this poop. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so, you know, in case you need those, put uh, put Tainari in your party. These are a specialty, apparently, of Sumeru, and Tainari picks up uh, Sumeru specialties on the map. So, uh, you know, throw them in there, and it makes it a hell of a lot easier to find those. Next on the agenda. And again, if, uh, like, if you picked up uh, a Hytham or a Deha over the, on the last banner, um, they both need... The sand grease pukes. Um, so, you know, this is just a good run for doing it. Hey, there's some crystals. There's some more pukes. Go away, mushroom, mushroom. Does anyone ever remember? Do you remember the, uh... Badger, 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 badger. You remember that? And then he guy goes, Mushroom, mushroom! Uh, uh, like, I run around down here, and I constantly am singing that song to myself. It's like, you know, um, there's mushrooms and, and snakes. So I'll be, like, running around, just being, like, picking up poops. And now, of course, I'm not going to run into any of them. I'll go down here and be like, Oh, no! Uh, uh. Ooh, you got a big scorpion guy. But you run around and be like, Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. And then you find that big snake and you're like, it's a snake, oh, it's a snake. Badger, 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 badger. Anyway, yeah, I'm a moron, I know. We're way behind schedule. Yeah, I might as well kill this guy since we're down here. But yeah, I will go through uh, Sumeru though and find out because I'm pretty sure there's going to be, oh, come on. I'm pretty sure there's going to be somebody down here that will, uh, that will let you know, um, like, what about, uh, you can do for, like, uh, other, other spots no for picking up, uh, mining things. Sorry, hold on, let me finish this combat. It's kind of a pain in the butt for me to try to stay focused talking to y'all while I'm, uh, trying to kill this guy. So, hold on one second. Bear with me for a moment. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Okay. Anyway, yeah, there are other there are other characters. Uh, I'm sure I'm sure uh, Sumeru has them. Um, I just need to find out where they are, and probably tomorrow, maybe uh, on lunchtime, I will uh, come on, you know, come on by, and I'll give it a quick rundown of where that is. Uh, Inazuma, I, I have a fairly good idea, um, but I I forget. Uh, Sumeru, I don't, I don't remember yet. I know I've talked to people, and I was like, oh, I gotta remember that. He looks like one of those ore dudes. Um, and, uh, but the thing is, is like, uh, I'm, I forget what they are right off the top of my head right now. And, uh, I would need to kind of 
do a little bit of research on that so I can give you accurate locations. Ugh, okay. Well, that's some poops. Anyway, mining. Um, this underground place down here at the very bottom of this. Whee! Ha ha ha! It's a snake! Oh no, it's a snake! Badger, badger, badger. Oh, shoot. Uh, that, this is what I'm talking about, is this guy. Oh, stop that. Here, have some of this. And maybe take one of these big things. Yeah, have some of that and some more shield. Oh, and he's wet, so have some Tainari. And then you can have some, some more Zephyr. Just to spread the love around. Ah, la, 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 la. Did you kill him? Thank you. I switched to Ganyu right at the end so she can take credit. Yeah. We're way behind schedule. I think it's up this way. Uh, it's a snake. Oh no, it's a snake. Badger, 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 badger. Um, yeah, up in here has a bunch of crystals too. Like this whole area, you can see up at the very end there. Oh, look at these idiots. There we go. Might as well just kill them all because it's so hot. Oh, I gotta bump up Ganyu's crit rate. I'm just not hitting this hard sometimes. Stabilize. Um, but yeah, here's a good spot. Usually has some stuff. And then, uh, oh, in the chasm too. Uh, that's one thing I think is very important. You'll see crystals like this, but when you're in the chasm, and especially in the underground chasm, okay, if you have, uh, where is that item? Do, 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 do. This right here. Uh, the Lumen Sun Ajavan. Okay, if you have this equipped, um, and you go into the underground area, um, what will happen, of course, you can't use it here because, you know, we're not, this, that only works Solidify. in that cave, but, oh, here, I'll show you real quick. Might as well go check it out. But we'll go to Chasm Underground Mines, and let's try right here. And again, this is just loaded with crystals um, down in this area, but this is a cool little trick, too. Let me see if we can find a crystal outcropping somewhere. Whee! I'm flying! I'm flying! I'm scared of flying. Oh, sorry, no wait. I'm not actually scared of flying. I love flying. Where are you, Crystal? This is not a good spot for Crystal. Uh, where is it? Oh, you know where is a good spot for Crystal? Let's just help over here. This is a spot I know Crystals are. Uh, uh, uh. And plus I can collect some flying dudes. Whee! Hello! Hello, flying dudes! Okay. And this is why I wanted to come right over here. Alright, now. See the crystals down in here? Because I have this little guy jacked up. Okay, N not only, now mining these will bring bring your level, your power level. You can see it right above my health bar. Okay, because I can go, and, oh no, I'm down. I'm down another one. Oh, I'm down another one. But then I'll mine this, okay? And because those are glowing, that'll restore that. But every time you break one of these and they're glowing with this extra power, in the underground mine. Every single one of these is guaranteed to drop two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so every one that you get down in here and that crystal is glowing when you have this thing is going to drop two crystals. So if you see this and you're like, oh, there's only three crystals there. Bang, it's six. Okay, so look at this spot right over here. Hey, where did they disappear? There they are. Okay, I was going to say, wow, they kind of faded out on my thing. But see here, what? One, two, three, four, right? Okay, so this is going to spawn eight because these are glowing and I got my adjuvant. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's guaranteed. Uh, sometimes any, any one of the crystal ores will drop one to two. It's kind of random. But down in here, 
if you see them and you have the adjuvant connected and they're glowing like that, they're guaranteed 100% of the time they will drop uh, they will drop two. So uh, keep that in mind when you're doing mining. If you're looking for quantity, uh, head down into the abyss because um, it's just a great place uh, to get a bunch of stuff. And I'm just going to give them some Ganyu likes chimkin. And Wanderer Lee likes chimkins. Zhang Li, he likes chimkin a little bit. So we'll give him some chimkin. All right, cool. All righty here. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for joining me in for tonight. I am going to teleport uh, back out of here. I have a bit of a busy day tomorrow. I got a late start for work and then coming on to do streaming. And while I really kind of feel like playing uh, video games for the next uh, 10 hours, I do want to get up and make sure I have time to drink a gallon of coffee and... Uh, um, have time to get up, have my coffee, and do my noontime, uh, lunchtime with Era Aguirre stream. Uh, but if you happen to be on and around, please feel free to join me for that. Hey, get back on that map. Um, you know, usually every day, unless I'll, I'll let you know beforehand, but, uh, for the most part, every day from noon to at least 1 p.m., uh, I do, which is my lunchtime, uh, that's Eastern Standard, like New York uh, time uh, in the U.S. and everything, which is, I believe, currently exactly 12 hours away, 12 hours behind uh, Beijing, Hong Kong time um, and stuff. And then a couple hours different. I think it's uh, 11 hours for regions such as uh, like Japan, Taiwan. I, I, I'm not positive. Um, and also, I think, Philippines, I believe, I would need to check and make sure and see, um, time zones are always weird and everything, but I'm on East Coast US, so for me right now, it is about half past midnight, and I do need to, uh, get a little bit of rest. Weekends, I stay up all the time, and, uh, also, just, you know, keep putting out the reminder, this weekend, Diablo 4 closed beta. I will be uh, in that, uh, playing it as much as I possibly can, and I will be streaming it the entire time. Uh, so please feel free to join me this weekend. I'll be in and out, streaming all day, all night, all Diablo 4. Maybe a break to come in and do my Genshin daily commissions and things like that, but for the most part, I'm just I'm playing Diablo 4. I want to try to... Uh, level up a uh a druid and a necromancer over the weekend and leveling them up it was only 25 i think is the highest um but i want to try to get them both Our leveled up because i want to see how the they're going i remember you can check my streams before i have a lot of diablo 4 streams from memory. the closed beta from last weekend and uh didn't really have fun with the rogue but loved the sorcerer that was awesome. Totally, totally. I'm so psyched. I'm like, oh my god, I hope the druid is as awesome as I think it's going to be. Because that was my favorite character from Diablo 2. Wasn't in Diablo 3. And I'm just really hoping that the druid is going to be everything and more that I wanted to be. Oh yes. Oh yes. Bring back the druid. And it's back. And I get to play it. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Here on Netherhell with era Aguirre's. so uh please feel free to come in and and check that out i'll be again be doing it all weekend and stuff but i do need to do some things and get some things ready and uh maybe like take a shower and, and uh uh you know demon demon shower yeah demon shower every day demon shower and uh things like that so I am going to sign off. Uh, saw we had a, quite a few new viewers tonight. So, hey, thank you all for coming in. Uh, I'm pretty friendly, so uh, feel free to uh, join in on chat. I'm uh, more than happy to talk to anybody. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, um, you know, I try not to be as toxic a gamer, uh, you know, or anything. So, I mean, if you have any questions, I do not mind helping out anybody or showing anybody where some stuff is. 
because uh, my most important thing is I want I want the humans to have fun playing their video games, and I want to have fun too. So uh, please feel free to you know jump in, ask me ask me anything. Even it doesn't matter how you know crazy or lame if you think your your question might be, jump in. I'll tell you. And you know to be honest, I may not even know. I don't know everything about this game or any other game I play. Again, I, I, I'm just a player. I, I like to have fun. And if I find a game that I'm like, ooh, yeah, I like this game, I, I'll get it and I'll play it a lot. That's how I get experience and knowledge about the games. And again, I do not mind sharing anything and I will show you uh, just for fun. And I love to interact with people. So any viewers out there, you want to jump into chat, feel free. Uh, even if you want a game, send me a request. I'll jump in, play some games with you and stuff too. I am on the America server for uh, Genshin Impact, so if you are on there, uh, please let me know, and, uh, you know, I can, uh, you know, jump in and play with you and everything like that, or if uh, you're on uh, any, any other servers or stuff, or any games that we can play, regardless of territory, I believe... Uh, um, I believe there's quite a few games that we that can play that that do go kind of global and everything um, You know people have been telling me like hey, you want to play Valorant and stuff and I got I'll be honest with you I've never played Valorant. I haven't played it yet. I know everyone's gonna be like, oh my god Are you serious? You haven't played Valorant and I'm like, yeah, I, I haven't actually played Valorant uh, I took a been taking a big break from first-person shooters uh, for for quite some time, but uh, I'm thinking about maybe getting back into them again much to the chagrin of anyone who plays against me <laughs> um, But uh, yeah, actually thinking about getting in maybe playing some stuff and everything But yeah, I, I haven't played Valorant, so I'm kind of interested to check it out. I do have it I do have it installed um, and I uh, I'm thinking about giving it a go and uh, checking it out um so, like, maybe I, I was checking out uh, uh, one of one of my viewers. Like, if you come, if you come view my stream uh, and you're a streamer, I will absolutely come check out your stream too. So, feel free to pop in, give me a follow. I will do the same, and I will come into your streams and uh, fire off chats and stuff um, to say hi. I, I'm a really big fan of uh, working within the community and building up the community. Oh, so, schedule. I will absolutely come into your room and say. Hello, I am here to chat with you on your stream, and I will watch you play Genshin Impact. Um, so Hamara, yes, if I'm I hope I'm saying her name right. Uh, let me check her out. Hamara plays. She streams on uh, on Twitch as well, and she plays some Genshin Impact. I, I'm assuming she, he, I believe she, because I was watching her streams, and it sounds like a girl. I hope, or you know, hey, it doesn't matter either way, though, does it? Um, but uh, getting on there and. Uh, I notice uh, Himar plays a lot of Valorant, so I'm like watching the streams, and I'm like, yeah, this is pretty cool. I think I want to try this out and check it out. Um, so I'm maybe going to hit them up for a little bit of info and be like, hi, can you teach me how to play Valorant? Because I really don't know, and if there's any secret things I need to know, um, that would be cool. Um, so, yeah. I kind of I want to get in there. So, anyone's got any ideas or fun things to talk about with that? Uh, either that, or it will make for some absolutely hilarious streaming. Uh, watching me play like as a complete noob and get my ass kicked all over the place in Valorant. Um, so, you know, either way, should be worth a bunch of uh, a bunch of fun to come check it out. Anyway, I gotta stop fighting Hilly Charles. I should have gone to bed like half an hour ago. So I'm gonna teleport and leave myself in Sumeru City. Um, so that way I can uh, do my commissions when they reset for noon me time tomorrow. And everyone, wave bye to Paimon and wave bye to me because I am going to go ahead and shut off the stream for this evening, which is now the morning of the 23rd. Ooh, 23233. Three. Cool. Or in the U.S. they read the date. 32323. 323. Three. Three, three. Neat. Okay. Um, either which way, it's all threes and twos today. 
23323. Uh, any way that you want to read that, 23323. That's how I like it. 23323. Neat. Anyway, so happy 23323, 332232, however you read it and everything. And I hope you have a great night. And I'm just kind of mumbling now because I'm like, I had a long day. I'm going to fall asleep right on top of my microphone. But anyway, everyone, I hope you had a whole bunch of fun. Uh, remember, I always try to take my uh, posts. I also you can watch them here on Twitch. Uh, I try to repost them all on YouTube if that is your preferred channel as well. You can check it out, youtube.com slash at netherhow. Links up on the top there. Uh, we do have a Discord, a Netherhow Discord. Uh, I just did start that up, so it's not really uh, very populated with lots of things, but can always jump in and at least uh say come in say hi i will say hi back uh, i need to get better about getting in there but community is not quite there yet but it is building um so feel free to keep jumping in and uh, i do post on twitter frequently as well so follow me there and check stuff out all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i thank you dearly for all coming to join me today for a little bit of mining fun in genshin impact and Maybe at some point I will make an actual tutorial video about all of this stuff instead of live streaming it so that way I can chop it up and cut it and uh, remove random conversations from the middle. Not that I don't enjoy them. I loved, I loved talking with Chris tonight. That was awesome. Um, but, you know, when you're trying to do like a tutorial, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Let me do this. No, let me talk to you again. No, oh, no, no. But still, I'd rather make a new friend than show people how to mine. So... Thank you, Triz. And again, everyone, uh, I am going to log off. So, sayonara, sayonara, bye-bye.